Hello, I'm Dan Sweeney. I'm here at the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex. We're here on the first floor of Atlantis, uh, learning to live in space. Just behind me, you see our space toilet. Our space toilet is really rather interesting because here on Earth, we have gravity to help us out in very certain ways. Up in space, we have to use airflow to, in order to pull waste away from the body. Now, our toilet up in the International Space Station actually has its own mission patch. It's called the Orbital Outhouse because it's the only place where you can get even a little bit of privacy on board our station. With a little accordion door, turning on the fan, you get a minute to breathe. Next up, I'll show you guys the kitchen. Now the biggest difference between the kitchen we have here and the one up in space is the amount of Velcro. You would have Velcro absolutely everywhere because no astronaut wants to take a bite of their food and have it floating off on them for someone else to eat. So they would stick it down to that Velcro, perhaps do a little work, or perhaps take up a different portion of their meal and start eating that. Now Velcro serves a very important purpose on board our space station, as well as most of our space missions, because it is color-coded to the astronaut who decided to select it for their mission. So that way they don't have anyone else eating their food. Next up we're talking about sleeping in space, which is actually pretty easy. Most astronauts would just float around with their arms about this height and they just go to sleep. But on the International Space Station, we have your very own room. You would float into it, either head first or feet first. Personally, I'd fly in feet first because that's how I have my room oriented. And I'd be able to play a little bit on my computer, maybe listen to some music on our cassette tapes or CDs, read a book, and then finally, using my sleeping mask, go to sleep. The reason for those sleeping masks, though, is because every 45 minutes, we have a change from day to night. 45 minutes of day, 45 minutes of night, making it uh, 16 sunrises and sunsets throughout the day. So you can imagine, that's a little hard to sleep through. So keeping that sleeping mask on will definitely help us out. That concludes my time here living in space. I'm Dan Sweeney, reminding you to keep looking up.